Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 3 of our automated build deployment test with Team Foundation Server 2015 and Selenium. And this video is part of our ALM with Team Foundation Server video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about building our application and Selenium framework check-in to Team System, which is the part 1. Basically, I have split this into two parts, which is nothing but part 1 and part 2, since this video is a little bigger than compared to other videos. Alright, so before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 1 and 2, since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So for doing the building of our application and Selenium framework check-in in Team Foundation server, let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is Visual Studio 2015 and I have already checked in my code in Team Explorer. And if you see my source control explorer, you can actually see that I have a employee web application project. And within this employee web application team project, I actually have the employee application, which is nothing but our execute auto employee application. And also I have checked in the EA employee test and EA employee test project. So this EA test project is actually the framework of our execute automation where you can actually execute the Selenium test cases. And this EA employee test is actually the test cases which executes the test for our execute auto employee application. And there is also a PF web service is nothing but the web service of our application, which you can actually uh, see how the web service is actually running behind the scenes. So this is actually a project which is part of our execute auto employee. So this check in and check out of our team foundation server, how it works, all those things we have already discussed in our Team Foundation Server with QA and Dev focused video series of our YouTube channel. So please go there and watch how it works, how to create a team project and how to check in the code and how things work. So basically everything is discussed out there. So I'm really not going to spend a lot of time in discussing the same thing again and again. So you can always go back and watch that videos there. So this video is actually going to talk about how this integration stuff works. Right. So basically, I want to quickly show you how this execute auto employee application looks like. And you can see this is the application execute auto employee, which is nothing but a very, very simple ASP.NET MVC application. And you can see if you click this employee list, you can see a list of employees coming in. Right. And then you can also do a login operation and logout operation for this application. And you can, once you log into this application, you can see that it will bring up some new uh, menus in there. And then you can also do a log off if you want to, whatever you want to do, everything comes in, right? And then uh, basically this application can be tested with one of the Selenium framework, which we developed in our Udemy's automation course. It is nothing but an automation framework development in Selenium C Sharp. It's an advanced course available in udemy.com where you can see how we have created our framework from the scratch, from the ground up basically. And uh, you can see what is this uh, framework and how to develop this framework and how to actually create a different components for this framework and developing the configuration components, extension components, refactoring it. And also you can see there is a section which deals with deploying the employee app to internet information server so all these things you can basically learn about the selenium framework in this video series so again i'm not really going to talk about the framework itself right so i'm not going to talk about the application development and of, of how this application is being developed rather you can see there is a source code for this application if you go to the solution explorer you can see that i have this application up and running right here. So this is the execute auto employee application. It's a ASP.NET application and here it has a controllers and it will have some of the models because it's an MVC application and you can see all the code for this application is actually sitting right here. So uh, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to just mimic a little bit like a developer and tester here. So I will make some changes in there. Uh, in the application and then I will check in the code and then I will see whether the test fails right which is great and then I will also do a modification once again and then make a check in and once I check in and run the build then automatically the test should pass right that's the expectation so all these things are going to happen in a continuous integration way 
of build deploy and test using team foundation server 2015 and you can see we have this ea auto framework which actually uh, the framework for our selenium and these are the different kinds of codes and components available within this framework which helps to achieve to write some of the test cases which is available in here and you can see this is the employee test case test case very very simple test case to perform some of the operation and we also have spec flow scenarios here where you can see how this employee application is being tested so this is this is what is the very very simple scenario which is nothing but a spec flow scenario to perform the operation of executing the test cases for the application that you have seen right here right so Basically, this test case is uh, dealing with opening the application and creating a user and then see uh, verifying whether the user has been created or not. Right. So these are the different kinds of uh, stuffs we're going to do uh, in this course of video series. So we will talk about the application deployment uh, in the Internet Information Server and then running the test based on the uh, test cases that we have written in our test cases uh, in our EA employee test in the upcoming video. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.